Hey, hello, how do you do? Shady Rags here, and we are going to be reacting to the My Little Pony episode, Every Little Thing She Does. Now, before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and talk about a few things. If you want to just skip to the reaction, you can go ahead to, I guess I'm going to put a number on screen or something. You can go ahead to there, and you don't have to worry about all of this. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm going to be reacting to this episode, and you might be wondering, well, why Every Little Thing She Does? That's a really random episode, is it? Episode... 21 in the season, why not react to the season finale or one of the Equestria Girls movie? Uh, I'm reacting to this episode because um, one of my more popular videos on the channel right now is why Starlight Glimmer sucks, in case you guys don't know. I hate Starlight Glimmer. And a lot of people who have watched that video said that this episode, every little thing she does, is what brought them to that video. So I've never seen this episode before. <laughs> And I'm expecting that I'm going to hate it, because everyone who hated Starlight Glimmer said they also hated this episode. Yes, I know, it's about half a year, or a year after the episode aired, and I still haven't seen it. But I like to support the official release, and the place that where I do support the official re release doesn't usually get the episodes until like eight months after they come out. So, it's not my fault, and make sure you guys support the official release. Now, the other thing I want to address is, uh, some, some people who know me know uh, that I have a thing against React videos, so why am I doing it? It's not React videos that I have a thing against. Um, it's let's watch videos that call themselves React videos. And the reason, uh, uh, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about people who watch an entire video and they don't edit it. And the reason I have an issue with that is because it's not fair use and they don't ask permission. There are people out there who ask permission. I'm perfectly fine with them. There are people who edit their videos, and I'm perfectly fine with them. So I'm not being a hypocrite <laughs> by making a React video. It's the less watch videos that break fair use law. I'm going to be editing this, you as you will see. Uh, so that's that. I just wanted to get that out there in case anybody calls me a hypocrite, because they're liars. Also, my apologies. Um, the I, I just finished cleaning the studio. It's still a bit messy, as you can see in the background. Um, so it's dusty in here, so my allergies are acting up, so I apologize for that, but I really wanted to get this video made. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's get the opinion bar up, which I hope is going to be over there. I hope I'm not looking the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get the opinion bar up. My opinion of this episode has already started a dislike because people have told me that it's about Starlight and that they hate it. Oh, also one more thing. Um, when something happens that persuades my opinion... Uh, in a positive note, you're going to hear this, and in a negative way, you're going to hear this. Let's go ahead and watch the video. Tired? Where do we begin? Teleportation. Multiple locations. Try to keep up. Can't she already do teleportation? I mean, I guess multiple locations does make it somewhat of a challenge, but we, we know Starlight can do teleportation. Right now, here's what I'm seeing. Let's show off Starlight. But, okay, I'm kind of in a negative mood already. Let's, let's give the episode a chance. They, they might, I might actually love this episode. This episode might make me love Starlight. Let's give it a chance. Okay, wait a second. How did she know where she was going? Did, did Twilight say where she was... I'm gonna rewind that right quick. How did she know where she was going? No, she never said it. She, they, she just tell Twilight teleported, and then Starlight was teleported immediately after her. How did she know where she was going? Oh wow, Starlight also did levitation immediately after, so she knew she was going to the sky. Wow. That's messed up, Twilight. Transfiguration. Okay, I knew Transfiguration was in this show. But Twilight just turned an apple into a nest full of birds. Like, that messes with the laws of nature in a way that they're not supposed to. Shields. Question. I thought we were testing Starlight. Why did she shoot back? implications I'm getting from this is that Starlight is stupidly powerful, which now I can't say is not canon because of the freaking season finale of last season, 
you know, I'm still not okay with it, but at this point, my mind has kind of accepted it. You know, it, it would kind of it would be breaking continuity if she wasn't getting more powerful at this point in time. But I thought the point of her was to learn friendship. You know, friendship is magic, but I thought she was studying friendship primarily, not magic spells. I don't know. Maybe uh, I don't know. It, it, it's, I, it feels like I'm nitpicking right now, and I am nitpicking. I'm gonna keep nitpicking because freaking Starlight. Yeah, no, we're not watching that. Uh, I'm one of those people who does not like the intro song. I think it's a good song, I just I don't like it. As you know, speed spells like Accelero are not easy. But if done correctly, they can allow you to be much more efficient with your day. Is Starlight teaching Twilight? Is Starlight teaching the Alicorn of Friendship? A magic lesson. Is Starlight teaching a pony whose talent is magic, who studies magic on a day-to-day -day basis for both fun and her occupation, who went to the best magic school in the country and studied under the best magic user in existence, well, I guess that would be Star Wars, but still, Celestia is one of the best. Is she being taught magic by this thing? By this no-name pony who lived out in the desert? Let's go. When combined with Accelero in just the right way, you can literally be in two places at once. <laughs> I hate this so much. Oh, they buffed up Starlight. Oh, okay. I said my brain had accepted that Starlight was powerful. No, no, no. They pushed it even further. They pushed it even further. Oh, they are trying to make me love this character, and it's just not working. I just keep thinking back to how she was and how she should have been. I know that this is a result of after the season finale, so really I should be accepting, but I'm just I'm not. <laughs> now, I'm finished. I have to admit, your skills with magic really are nothing short of amazing. I've noticed this with uh, Tara Strong recently. I noticed it in the season premiere. Her lines sound a bit unauthentic, uh, whenever, especially when she's Twilight talking to Starlight. Maybe I'm projecting... Um, but it really sounds like what she's saying is fake. I noticed it a lot in the season premiere. Th that's really the only place I noticed it. I haven't watched these episodes in a while because I wanted to re record myself reacting to this specific episode. But, yeah. Um, the delivery. Let's work on that, Tara. I've always been something of a natural. No! You haven't! However, it doesn't look like you've tackled any friendship lessons since you met Trixie. Who said that? Let's rewind to what I said before! <laughs> but I thought the point of her was to learn friendship. You know, friendship is magic, but I thought she was studying friendship primarily, not magic spells. Are you sure? I could have sworn there were a couple in there somewhere. I'm sure. Ooh, she just asked Twilight. She basically asked Twilight, are you organized enough? I do like those little moments with uh, Twilight when she's, uh, when her organization, like, kind of shows, but they don't go into, like, heavy detail about it. Like, if you notice in the season premiere, uh, Starlight is reorganizing Twilight's notes, and Twilight, like, gets very panicky because they become unorganized, but they don't go into that. I like that. That's that's good character. Well, I'm really quite busy this week. So many commitments. I'll try and find some time in my no time like the present. So what I'm getting from this is Starlight is still afraid of friendship. Um, I thought we were past that, but I guess not. Like, cause in in the episode with Trixie, it seemed like she was eager to make friends. It was just hard for some reason, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, I, I realized why she was scared with Sunburst, because she was, you know, it was Sunburst 
Okay, I don't realize why she was scared with Summers, but it makes sense in my head. There's a, a logical connecting path that I can't see, but I thought we were past her being nervous about friendship. I don't know. We'll be back after the presentation, which should be... 20 moons from now? Tonight. It's a quick presentation. Sure. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait a second, isn't Spike her organizer? Why did he think it was 20 moves? For, I didn't get, I didn't catch that joke. <laughs> that was good. That was good. You can tackle a friendship lesson today and we can review your progress when I get back later this evening. I feel some projecting from Twilight. Remember that episode where Twilight felt that Celestia, that she needed to report a friendship lesson every week to Celestia, and now she's doing that to Starlight, like, it, not every week, but she's like, you haven't done a friendship lesson in a while, where Celestia specifically said, when there's a friendship lesson, that's when you turn one in. Uh, Twilight's like, there needs to be a friendship lesson, which, to me, it, yeah, she's probably projecting, I think she is projecting, but at the same time, to me it makes sense, because Starlight specifically does need to practice friendship. We already know she's good at magic. We already know that. And it's the friendship that Twilight specifically wanted her to get. But then again, that was also what Twilight specifically needed to get. But Twilight was enthusiastic about it. I guess that's why this they brought in this sudden making Starlight uncomfortable around friendship. It makes the that seem better. Anyway, more of the video. Okay, I like that. I like that little levitation detail there. That was good. Because uh, you, when you sit down and you just think about stuff, people do do little things like that. And I like how they implemented it. You know, uh, if you're nervous about your friendship lessons, it's totally okay to say so. I love Spike. He, he's such a good friend. I love Spike, man. It seems to me that Spike is Starlight's first real friend. Like, true friend. Like, I know we have the main six, but to me, their friendship doesn't feel authentic. Um, Spike genuinely cares about Starlight, and he genuinely pushes her past uncomfort her uncomfortable zones. Um, and it's well within his character, because he's Spike, he's naive, he doesn't see the same um, higher problems that the, the older kids see. <clears throat> and I, I keep looking down because this thing is in the wrong spot. There we go. But yeah, and I, I, I'm general. Something I'm actually enjoying about Starlight is her relationship with Spike because he seems to be coming through for her. Um, I hope that comes into play. Chillax with Rainbow Dash. What is chillaxing? No idea. For the record, I don't care what anyone says. I invented the word chillaxing. I was in, what, ninth grade, and I was like, hey, chill and relax. Those totally work together. And then suddenly I'm hearing everybody use it. I don't care what no one says. I invented that word. I also invented the word spork. You think I'm nervous that I'm going to fail something as simple as baking a cake? Oh, I think I see where this is going. So she's nervous. She's not nervous about friendship, she's nervous about failing tasks she's not good at. Okay, I can... That, that works, that works. Twilight just said how impressed she was that I combined a speed spell and a duplication spell. That was a challenge. These... Ha, I can combine all five of these at the same time without breaking a sweat. Okay, I, I understand that feel. I actually do relate to that feel, where you're just, you're so good at some things that you think you can go above and beyond. Um, I was talking about this with the, the millennial question. If you guys have never heard of the millennial question, go ahead and Google it. It's talking about people who are born um, in the late 90s, or the late 80s after, and our mentality, I'm one of those, I was born in 91, and one of the mentalities we have is that we're impatient. And that we think once we get into a company, we should be owning that company extremely fast. Good talk. And I thought Twilight was a master of the freak out. <laughs> Mary Sue. <clears throat> this goes with the concept of Mary Sue that I've talked about in the past. Where whenever you have somebody who's suspicious of being a Mary Sue, it doesn't help their case when they come in and they're suddenly better at something 
that another character was, um, even if it's something that's supposed to be seen as negative. I was talking about this when I was reading uh, Dragon Ball Multiverse, and they said that Brawl was more annoying than Gotenks. And I was like, wasn't he supposed to be the most annoying fighter ever? And now, the same thing here. They're saying Starlight is better at freaking out than Twilight. And it's like, isn't Twilight supposed to be, like, the best at freaking out? It, it, and I understand where they're going, because that's a negative trait. But at the same time, it doesn't help your case, because they're still being said, it's still being said out loud, this person is better at this. Yeah, 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 sure. And these adorable chipmunks might prefer a nook somewhere. Maybe if you spend some time getting to know- In a minute, Fluttershy. Oh, is the reason people hate this episode because Starlight is, un is unlikable? Is, is that the reason people can't stand her in this episode? Because, like, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that, with her being unlikable. Um, I, my issue is when she's out of character. That's when I get upset. But I have noticed this trend before where somebody was like, oh, this person did something that I really, really didn't like, and that makes me just not like them more, which, you know, that makes, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense that you would not like a person if they did something you didn't like. <laughs> but to me, as characters, you know, sometimes people do things that are unlikable. I've heard people say that you should never make a character unlikable to the audience. Um, if it feels natural, then I don't see a problem with it. But I understand what people are saying when they say that, because once your audience starts becoming uncomfortable, you're, you're getting away from entertainment. Even though you are still in the art area, you're getting away, away from the entertainment area. She can be a bit messy. to chillax in this castle okay i get what you're doing with the chillax word but it it stopped being funny it it was funny it was but it, it stopped okay i'm actually liking what's going on right now i know i know i really shouldn't but i like that um the problem they've addressed is that starlight wants to impress twilight and I like that it's because she just did. That makes sense. I've, I've been through this scenario before where you've done something impressive and you want to keep impressing that person to the point that you start doing things incorrectly. I'm also thinking if Twilight were in this situation, she would have organized all of them. So um, thinking that like Starlight's becoming this new Mary Sue, this is, this is now helping her case, showing that she's not a Mary Sue. That, yeah, she's good with magic and so forth, but... Organization? No, that's still Twilight's thing. Okay, Starlight, you've got this. A handful of friendship lessons is nothing compared to the spells you've mastered. <laughs> Her problem seems to be she thinks that this is all about friendship. These individual things are not about friendship. They're just hanging with your friends. If you, like, this is just hanging out with, everything she's doing right now is just hanging out with your friends or helping them do a task, which in My Little Pony, helping, they, they love helping each other, so it's still hanging out with your friends. So... Maybe if I cast a little spell to help things along? Uh-oh, being, magic being used as a shortcut. Like Silver Quill said, whenever they use magic as a shortcut, something goes wrong. Like, magic has a very specific purpose in this show. It's like to solve really big problems. And whenever they use it as a shortcut to something, it backfires. And I like that. I like that about the show. Oh, maybe Cogeria, so they're more open to suggestion. I hate to say it, but I'm actually liking this more and more. Starlight has a consistent problem in that she tries to change people. She tries to make them better. This was seen in the Trixie episode, too. Um, when she was trying to be friends with certain ponies, like with Big Mac, and she's like, I can't have a friend who's not articulate. And if you go back even to when we first saw Starlight, everyone she met, she tried to change. I'm liking this! I'm liking this. That could work nicely, with a hint of persuadery to be sure it sticks. Okay, I can't be sure, but is that her old music, or is that just generic My Little Pony music? That would, if that's Starlight's old music, that would be a really good, clever play right there. Because the, I'm seeing these facial expressions. That right there, 
that's the old Starlight right there, even though um, her hair still looks stupid. But <laughs> that's the old Starlight expressions that she used to make. I hate that I'm liking this. I wanted to rage at it. <laughs> Congratulations were a little premature. So we're about at the halfway point. My guess here is that Starlight, now that she's, you know, pretty much erased every pony's whatever she just erased, um, she's going to have to do all the tasks herself. And if she does, and she succeeds at that, ugh, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Pinky, Kitchen, Rarity, Applejack, Library, Fluttershy, stay here. Rainbow Dash, find somewhere inside the castle and set up a place where we can chillax. Well, this spell would have been handy when she was evil. A spell that makes you control people completely? Holy the dongos! Don't show that to anybody! Uh, what are we supposed to do first? Whatever you want to do first, Starlight Glimmer. Okay, I see now more where this is going. You know, when you take the personality out of somebody, you take them out of what they're doing. Pinky's cakes aren't going to be good. Rarity's dresses aren't going to be good. Chillaxing's not going to work. Flourishized animals are going to suffer. Uh, and whatever Applejack's doing is going to suck too. Medium sized mixing bowl, beat together eggs, sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. <laughs> following the instructions in the book until I get back? Absolutely! See where that's going. Keep following the instructions in the book until I get back. The instructions do not stop with that recipe. Pinky is going to keep baking non-stop. That's a whole lot of photos. How do you usually organize them? However you want me to organize them, Starlight. No, 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 no. That wasn't the question. I see what they're doing here, but that wasn't the question she asked. She asked, how do you usually organize them? She should have asked, how do we organize them? Because by asking, how do you usually organize them, the, the response to that would have been, I usually do this. Or if they wanted to play more like, uh, no, no, that's how it should have been. That's how it should have been. They, 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 My Little Pony has this thing where they try to, they try to, make people say a response to a truth, and they don't exactly um, counter what, what's being answered. They did that when in that one moment where um, where Applejack, uh, with the Cherry Jubilee episode where Applejack's like, I didn't break a pinky promise. No, she did break a pinky promise. She said she would tell them at breakfast. I did not go to breakfast does not make... I will tell you at breakfast a not false statement. Because I will tell you at breakfast implies I will go to breakfast. So, that that's that's the computer science to me coming out. I took logic classes. They're going to make sense. I'm going to use them in my life somewhere. She looked in the kitchen, but it wasn't there. She looked in the barn, but it wasn't there. If you've ever worked in service industry... That's it right there. <laughs> if you've ever been the person behind the counter, <laughs> people want to tell you your life stories and you just got to stand there and smile and you don't care. <laughs> Buttershy, where are all the animals? They ran away. The jokes are on point with this episode, man. That was funny. And why didn't you stop them? Because you didn't ask me to. If I didn't know she was hypnotized, I would think she was being passive aggressive right now. I was only gone a few minutes! How in Equestria did you get all of this done so fast? Because Pinkie Pie! I gathered all of yeah. It's just magic, and I know magic. What's that? Sombra's back! The cakes are burning! You left the ovens on! Have you ever seen that YouTube video? Um, Starlight Glimmer defeats the main six or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Once I find the title, I'll, I'll put it in the in the video. Um, 
But it shows Starlight before she was good. She's defeating all the the main cast in every which way possible. And I put in that video, what makes that video so hilarious is her freaking stoic face. The whole time she's just looking like... And she's owning the main six. This has that same comedic effect. There are various different jokes. But everyone's faces, their, their expressionless faces... Just the juxtaposition between them, the joke, and Starlight. It's just, it's funny. I wanted to hate this episode. <laughs> Everybody was saying this episode made them hate Starlight more, but I am, I'm legitimately liking this episode. <laughs> Big Mac told me with a whole lot of power comes a heck of a lot of responsibility. Okay. Spider-Man reference. What, what, can, what can I do? There's nothing I can do. It's, it's automatic. It's automatic. I have to like what just happened there. A lot. A lot. It's not my fault. It's, it's, it's not my fault. It was a Spider-Man reference. I can't, I can't do anything about that. What is going on? Ooh. You're in trouble. I had no idea we had spiders in the castle. I'm never sleeping again. Spike has arachnophobia? Is that what that whole thing was about with the, when, um, uh, s s what is it, sleep it sleepless in, s in something, I don't know. It's a sleepless in Seattle reference. Um, no, 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 it's not. It's uh, Castlemania. Castlemania. Yeah, is that what that was about? Is that why he was so scared? Because he was scared of spiders and not actually the shadow pony or whatever. I didn't know that. Well, it was the first time I cast that particular spell, and I didn't fully think it through. I bet it That look. That look right there. I loved it. I loved it so much. What made you think that casting a spell on your friends to do your bidding was even remotely a good idea? Because I did it before, and then after I did that, I became your apprentice. Well, when you put it that way, it sounds really bad. That's because it is really bad! Okay, Timmy. That's because it is really bad! Starlight, I'm not mad at you. Yes, you are. But I am disappointed. No, you- that was anger. That- that was straight up anger. Ugh. Fine! I've been avoiding the friendship lessons on purpose. I can cast complex spells, but baking a cake with Pinkie Pie freaks me out! Baking a cake freaks you out? Yes. Baking a cake, sewing, all of it. What if I was bad at it? I thought if I just kept wowing you with my magical abilities, you might just not notice? Remember what I said at the beginning? At the beginning of this video, remember what I said? Oh, I think I see where this is going. So, she's nervous. She's not nervous about friendship. She's nervous about failing tasks she's not good at. I am a genius at predicting the plot of a little girl's cartoon show. Starlight, do you think any pony cares if you can bake a cake? I do, actually. If she had been able to bake a cake, I would have been very upset. The lesson was to get to know Pinkie Pie better by doing something she loves. It was a friendship lesson. And that's the problem, Twilight. Why are you teaching her magic? Like, I get it, it was her magic that impressed you, but by focusing on the magic, something she's already well versed in, according to the season finale, you're missing the whole point of Starlight. She was supposed to be getting friendship lessons so that she could use her magic to do good. Ugh. I feel this is more Twilight's fault than it is Starlight's. Oh my goodness, this episode just freaking made me side with Starlight. I feel like I got shoved through the super speedy cider squeezy 6,000. Continuity. If every pony could speak in a whisper for the next few days, that would be delightful. My head is thumping. Is this supposed to be like a hangover joke? Like they're hung they're hungover? I don't drink alcohol, so I don't get it. Not so loud. Starlight spell made me burn perfectly good cake. Don't cast spells on your friends. Can we all please? Aren't you at a lower volume? Uh, 
like how the extroverts are the ones yelling. <laughs> Nothing against extroverts, I just find that like well within character and really funny. What I did was wrong, and I can't take it back. You're right to be upset, and I hope one day I can make it up to you. But all I can say is I'm sorry. That was a very, very well-worded apology. I don't know about that one day make it up to you, but everything else, like, that was really, really well worded. Like, I, there's no excuse for what I've done. Um, the only thing I can do now is say I'm sorry. That was, that's how you apologize. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go clean the castle covered in wet cake batter and spiders. And because they are the Council of Friendship, let me guess what's going to happen next. They're going to help her. Because they're her friends. That's what friends do. They help each other. You know, what Starlight was supposed to do throughout this episode. Some pony has to bake a cake to honor all the poor cakes that sacrificed their batter in last night's tragedy. That's how you do. That's how you do, Piggy. <laughs> oh, man. That is, that's me. Um, that's me when I have, when we do Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Everybody's like, we got too much food. I'm like, fine. Someone has to take all this food and eat it. It's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. Wow, Pinky was legitimately angry. Like, I, I thought they were playing that up for comedy's sake, but she was, like, legit. She didn't want Starlight near her for a moment there. That some interesting character right there. I, I and I can see it makes sense. She says she's never burnt a cake before. That makes a lot of sense. That you know that that pride right there was hurt. If I was prideful about something and somebody made me do it, I would be like, wow. Good good character there. It seems your apology went well. Did you just did you just run up to me in this long behind castle? Like, you saw how fast she came into the frame? Like, she, she running to Starlight just to say that. It seems your apology went well. So, how long do we sit quietly? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the episode. Let's talk about this. Do you see that bar? Do you see it? I came in this episode expecting to hate it. You people! You told me this was a horrible episode! <laughs> I didn't want to like this episode. Liking episodes don't get views. You have to hate things. You have to go on rants about how you, how you hate things. That's why my Starlight Crew <laughs> video is doing so well. But now I like this video, or this episode. I like it. I actually do like this episode. It was funny. It was a lot of good character moments. Like, even Starlight was fine. This is the first episode with Starlight in it that I legitimately cared about what Starlight was going through. <clears throat> you know, other than the, uh, the harsh warming to Eve, but that wasn't Starlight. That was, uh, the, whoever Starlight was, was being in that episode, but... Yeah, I mean, we still have the problem with Starlight being, like, ridiculously powerful in magic, but um, that's something, really, I should be accepting, because it's it's been established now in the canon, and to go against that now would be to continually go against the canon, so it's not something I should be complaining about. It's something that irks me, but it's something that shouldn't irk me. Um, but it starts it starts off with that, you know, Starlight is ridiculously powerful in magic, and then it goes into a, reason, a reasonable character flaw you know she's I, I i originally i thought she was afraid of friendship but it wasn't the friendship lesson she was afraid of it was the little tasks she had never done before and that makes sense it makes sense i've i've been in that situation where you're i i've, I've already said this i'm repeating myself at this point but i'm going to repeat myself just to fully get everything out um i've been in that situation where you're doing really really well and you see tasks that you're not going to do well in. So you use what you have, what you know how to do, to try to make it better. And for Starlight, that's magic. And what she doesn't realize is she can't, it, it, she's not supposed to use magic 
to solve these problems. Not that she can't use magic to help her with these problems. At the end, you, sh you saw that she did use magic for the water. It helped her with the problems. It was that she shouldn't use magic in that way to just completely solve or obliterate the problem. She was going about it wrong. Um, it's kind of like um, if you go camping, you're not really good at camping. So you decide to bring all this technology out with you to camping, defeating the whole purpose of camping. You know, kind of like that. Uh, not, not to say there's anything wrong if you want to take technology out into the wilderness. I'm saying if you have a problem, you use a method that goes against that problem. Kind of like how, what, it's kind of like what Twilight did in Winter Wrap-Up when she used magic. Kind of, not exactly the same, because magic was strictly taboo in Winter Wrap-Up. Um, but the jokes were funny. The jokes were really funny. Like, I didn't laugh as hard as I wanted to, but, like, I was I was seeing these jokes, and I was like, that is funny. That was good timing. That was good comedy. And the stoic faces just worked so well. There was a lot of good character, not only in Starlight, but in Spike, in Twilight, in the main six, particularly, like, Pinkie Pie getting angry that she that she burnt a cake. It's good to see that Pinkie Pie has some human humanity in her. You know, she can get angry. We know Pinkie Pie can get angry and stuff, but we don't oftentimes see it because she's just so happy. Um, I would have expected a bit more anger from Fluttershy, you know, abusing animals. She hates that. She, she cannot stand that. Um, but, yeah, I actually really like this episode. This might be my favorite episode of season six. And I hate you guys for that. <laughs> because you guys all said that this was going to, that, that this was just the reason why you found my Starlight Glimmer Sucks episode, uh, video. I, uh, I'm honestly thinking, I'm thinking a lot of people don't like this episode is because Starlight is doing some things that they consider unlikable. You know, she's, she's not being uh, a friend, basically, a good friend in this episode. But I think that's the point. I think she's. I don't think. I don't think what she's doing is unlikable. Um, to me personally, I think it's just her messing up. Um, maybe it's because I've been in her situation before. But it feels to me like she's just messing up and she's going about a task the wrong way. And people will say, "Well, it should be so obvious to her that that's not what you should do." But the whole thing is, she's supposed to be learning friendship. That's the whole basis of her character. Um, it's actually starting, and I hate to say this because I've developed such a strong hatred for Starlight that it pains me to stay, say this, but it's actually making me forgive her horrible backstory. The fact that Starlight is so naive in friendship that she can't see that she's not supposed to manipulate people. It, it That then makes sense that when she was a child, a friend moving away would cause her to become a new Hitler. I'm so mad. I'm taking off my shades because I'm so mad. I like this episode. I pretty much actually love this episode. What am I going to do with myself? My reputation is ruined. Nobody's going to watch my videos ever again. They're going to call me hypocrite. Shady hypocrite, that's what they're going to call me. I'm going to have to move, become someone new, completely new, change my name. Random person, no one will ever see that coming. Uh. So yeah, I actually did highly enjoy this episode. Thought it was funny, thought there was good character moments, thought it was good. I, I thought it was great. That was a great episode. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't rage at it, you know, I tried, I really tried, but it's a good episode. Um... So let me let me know let me guys know what you think of this episode. Um, if you think it's bad, tell me why. If you think it's good, tell me why. If you disagree with me, tell me why. If I changed your mind, tell me why. Um, and let me know if you want to see more videos in this style, like um, reaction type videos. Again, there's a difference between reactions and let's watch. But let me know if you guys want to see more videos in this style. I don't really plan on reacting to like every MLP episode ever. Um, I just want to react to things that, if, if reactions become a thing on this channel, I just want to react to things that it makes sense for me to react to. Like, I don't know, like superhero stuff, or MLP episodes that specifically pertain to me, or uh, Equestria Girls 
you know, because I, I've made big statements about Equestria Girls, but, you know, MLP, I don't want to react to every single episode of MLP ever. Um, but let me know if you like this style, and if you do, you know, as always, I, listen, I do listen to you guys' feedback, and I'll, I'll hear you out. Or let, let me know if you hate it. Maybe you hated this. You completely hated this. <laughs> uh, Shady Drez is a hypocrite because he talks about reaction videos and then makes one himself. Anyway, that's it for this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. Hopefully I'll be able to do another one in the near future. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So long. Farewell. I have you to say goodbye.